Hi there and welcome to Life Molding Nuggets. So I want to share something striking uh, today with you. And it's about habits. Habits, yeah, that's it. So let's think about it this way. Um, a number of us, most times, we have bright goals and bright ideas. We want to execute. And most times, you know, the picture always is that, well, this goal is far reaching. I can't, I can't get it quickly. But when you think about it again, one major way you can reach out to your goal is by breaking the goal down into what habits can I do every single day. You know, I had a technical background in, you know, in the field of architecture, and it was a great deal for me because it helped refine my critical thinking skills and gave me such a leverage where I see life holistically. Uh, you know, and I remember, you know, when we we're back in school, some of my classmates said, "Well, they ran to architecture as a course of study because, you know, chemistry was not a subject requirement to get admitted." Uh, but think about it today in today's world. In, in in this world, you can run anywhere. Every one of us can actually be architects. And what does that mean? It means you can literally take ownership to how your life looks like and how your life functions, right? So imagine if architects design buildings and structures with the goal to create meaning you know, in the urban scape. How much more about your life? You can bring lots of meaning and order into your life to meet whatever special needs as the case may be you desire so as you begin to draw out your goals perhaps you have current goals you're working on or you are trying to craft craft new goals you want to work on the point is this be intentional about how you do that right and i and i ask myself this a whole lot of time if buildings that have no breath can undergo such an intentional design how much more you you are living you have the breath of god in your nose reel. You, you, you need a lot of more intentionality to how you live. You know, people tell me, well, Dr. Abraham, I, I want to change my attitude, my, my behavior. I don't want this to happen. I, I, mean, I want this year to be an extraordinary year for me. I want this month to be outstanding for me. I want this week to be extraordinary. Yeah, it's all possible. But it boils down to the habits. To think about this way, if some people say, well, I want to be a billionaire. I, I mean, and that's great. But for you to be a billionaire, you start from being a thousand there. <laughs> and so... Habit is simply the unit of behavior, right? I mean, that behavior today is started by an habit. I like the way Brian Tracy puts it. He says 95% of everything is as a result of habits. 95% of every single thing. And, and, and the, the, the bit about this is that it's sometimes always difficult to form a good habit. I mean, think, think about that and reflect over the number of habits you currently you know, dispose. It's, it's difficult to form a good habit, but the bad habits, very easy, very easy. That is where intentionality comes, right? And so you look around the environment today, there are lots of, you know, uh, slums and ghettos and buildings that have no order to them. I mean, they just say, well, let's just see how the building starts. Let's just start. Let's just lay the blocks. Let's just do this. And that was the outcome they got. You shouldn't do that with your life. Your life requires more meaning to it. Your life requires more intentionality to it. I mean, there's a word we use to capture all of this. It's called design. Design. Your life requires a design, right? So you can actually design your goals. But but this is the part I want to strike into in this uh, episode which talks about your habits how can you begin to form habits that can help guide your goals and it's a simple thing right so every single goal you've, you've, you've you know you've designed and you've mapped out ask yourself what can i do every single day that will help me achieve this goal what can i do every single day and and, and this is what i want you to do pull out a book pull out a you know paper or pull up your you know your electronic notes and follow me through as i lead you on to this right we want to craft your habits and, and the one i wanted to focus on is the the routine um your, your routine your daily routine so let's picture it this way you know someone says to me well okay, Abraham, i want to be so i want to increase my 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 intellectual capacity i, I want to be vast in my communication i want to be a great presenter i want to have a a, a a holistic view a vast view to my profession i mean that's a great goal but the question is this what habits what routine can you can you can you start from today think about it could you could, could it mean that you can start journaling right i mean could, it, could that be one of the money 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 habits you start from today could it mean that oh well you're going to read a chapter of a book every day right not the entire book just a chapter or just a page could that be that 
way you say you want to be wiser today i want to i want to be very very you know articulating my decisions and discreet in my thinking well could you pick a verse of a scripture every day and you meditate on it just a verse just a verse of scripture and you meditate on it right i mean think about it these things look so minute and very significant but they are the real game changers these are the real game changers someone tells me well Dr. Ivan, well, i just want to be a better husband this year i think i want to be i want to be there for my uh, my family i want to be there for my wife i want to be a better wife be there for my husband and my children great that's a great goal but how do you want to achieve that it's going to be an old love song if you don't break it down to habits so what can you do what can you do? Does that mean you get home at a particular time every day? Does that mean you allocate time you spend with your family every single day so you can have a family time? Install that in your routine. Yeah, install that in your routine. And that is defined. Every other thing is cut away from it. What can you do that would make, that would change things better? Think about it that way. In habits, in the goal, the secret, the game, the secret is in the habits. Especially your morning routine and your night routine. Someone says, "Well, Doctor Ibrahim, for me, I want to. I just, I just want to. Uh, I want to ensure I'm better f- uh, fit this year, or I just want, you know, my my physical outlook to uh, be, you know, alert and, you know, and all of that. I mean, you know, those kind of goals. <laughs> that that's great. But what what is the habit you want to do from that every single day? Just what, whatever it is, what works best for you. You don't have to copy anybody. You know, work for you. What works for you find what works for you right what works for you think about it that way most times what makes a goal very difficult to begin or to start is that we, we think about it i want to start everything just about now you want to write a great book a great a book that's going to be a bestseller but you need to start from writing some few words per day right some few chapters but you know per, per month i mean that's just how you make mileage the goal is to break the inertial and get going that way you can grow in momentum if you don't break the inertia you can't grow in momentum think about it you're driving a car from gear one you move to two you move to three imagine you never started you can't make that mileage you can't make that motion so what do you want to do i want you to look at one goal you are right now and ask yourself write that write them down in your book what 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 habits can you start from them what routine can you start from this from this goal what daily daily thing can you start from me write it down right now i'm going to give you some time to think about it pause this right now wherever you are and just think about it as many as come to your mind write them down just going to streamline them afterwards write them down when someone says well i just want to i just want to you know take better choices in my my habits my my feeding what does that mean for you does that mean oh well you're going to have a particular time you stop eating right does that mean you're going to be very careful of your diet? Does that mean you're going to have a shower at a particular time? Does that mean? I mean, think about it that way. The secret is in the habits. Ninety-five percent of everything, everything, is a result of your habits. And and let me end by sharing this. It's going to be quite demanding to begin. It's just like you're climbing a hill, <laughs> right? I mean, and that's fine, right? You know, everybody just wants to go to the part of least resistance, but you can. Take the step further to a path of intentionality, and, and and what you need to get going, beginning your habit is self-discipline, right? You don't have to feel like it, right? You don't have to feel like it. Your body won't feel like it, right? But it's just your choice. It's just that decision you make, and that's what changes everything. I wanted to begin this today. I'm looking forward to hear from you how this helps you in your journey, right? And I know you're going to get better results, you're going to get better performance by this secret of habits. I'll catch you another time. Bye for now. You have gained insights and strategies to live life purposefully. Now is the time to take actions in the direction of your learnings. For more products, bookings, and inquiries, please visit www.abrahamowashini.com.